Hey guys, Assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about foundation review. So today I'm going to talk about this Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and this foundation came out in late 2016 and for your information this is not a first impression video because I have used up like until here of the foundation I have used it almost every day in the late 2016 and I've worn it to few occasions I use it for everyday use and I've used it several times using different makeup so now it's the time for me to give my review and my thoughts about this foundation so first of all let's talk about the packaging so the all nighter foundation came in this box it's a very beautiful box like it's a metallic grayish box it has the Urban Decay logo in it and it has like a geometrical design and at the back of the foundation box they has this uh, like they talk about what is this foundation about and how to apply them and at the top of the box you can see where they stated the shade of the foundation so the bottle of the foundation came in the shape like this and it's a very beautiful packaging I must say you can see it's a very sleek cube metallic and you can see the shade from here like a it's like a window with a geometrical design and if you compare it it's almost the same as the naked skin foundation the tube is very very similar but the difference is the all nighter foundation is a bit tad shorter than the naked foundation but overall it is kind of the same then you can store it very easily together and this foundation has the shade selection stated at the bottom of the tube and the cap has the Urban Decay logo on it as you all know I am a medium tan Asian skin tone and for my shade for this all nighter foundation is 6.0 and if I use the naked skin foundation 6.0 is lighter for my skin tone but because this foundation has before I buy this, it has many reviews saying that it oxidizes into one into two shades. So the sales girl at Sephora advises me to pick the shade 6.0 so that after it oxidizes and it blends with my oil on my face, and then it will match my skin tone. So this foundation retails at 155 ringgit at Sephora stores and Urban Decay stores, and I must say that it is an expensive foundation. It is very different. This is not a drugstore foundation. It's more like a high-end foundation. And with the price, I think it is affordable because you really get what they claim for. So let's get the demo started. So before anything else, I have nothing on my face. As you can see, you can see my scar marks, my whatever, my uneven skin tones. And I only have my serum and my moisturizer on my face. And then I already primed my face using this Nivea Man Post Shave Balm. You can use any primer that you like. This is just my preferences. A quick side note guys, this is not a first impression review. I've already used this so many times. As you can see, this part has already gone up. I've already used this much of it. And then, as I told you earlier, I am in the shade 6.0. And this is actually a lighter shade for my skin tone but then because I heard so much about it that it says it oxidizes like one or two shades darker so the sales girls at Sephora she advised me to, to pick up this shade and you can see later on that it, it really does oxidize as much and it states here in this box that for your most perfected complexion shake well then buff on with one of your you one of our UD Pro foundation brushes so they recommended to use a brush but for your sake I am going to do uh, half of my face with a brush and half of my face using a beauty blender so I'm just gonna tell you so that you can see that what amazing about this foundation is this is a full coverage foundation and then if you wanted a full coverage foundation you can use your brush but you can also make it like a medium coverage if you use a beauty blender. So 
before you shake well then I'm gonna do one full pump first just like that I'm gonna dot it on on my face so as you can see when I dotted it this color is lighter than my skin tone so I'm gonna do the half of my face here using a brush for today's brush I'm going to use the Sundayu Tingi double ended brush So I already done half of my face using a brush and as you can see initially this color is very lighter than the other side of my original skin tone. This is a full coverage foundation like half of my face is already like I wear a mask because this is a full coverage foundation it was not supposed to look like a natural makeup look and it is already two minutes after the application of this side using a brush and you can start to see that this color is starting to oxidize and darkens a bit to match my complexion on the other side and now before this dotted drying off I'm going to buff it in using this beauty blender and you can see that the coverage will not really matches on this side because this is a full coverage using a brush and this one will be like a medium coverage So the buff are done and now my face are totally kind of like in the same tone as the side and you can see I'm not sure whether you can totally see on the camera but this side was more like a canvas like I wear a mask because this is a full coverage foundation it looks much more smoother and this side has like a very like medium coverage looks more natural and you can see that my pimple marks are still visible and this side my beauty marks are almost gone almost this is because this is not a concealer and I have not put in my concealer yet we can see that it is a full coverage foundation because you can see that it only has like a shadow of my beauty marks here rather than if I use any medium coverage foundation you can still see my beauty marks very clearly after I apply my foundation so this is what it looks like without anything on and they, if you have like a very minimal um, under eye color and this foundation as you can see it can covers it and you can skip with not wearing any concealer under your eyes but for the sake of highlighting and contouring your face and I'm going to put my highlighter on, my contour and everything and I'm going to make my skin um, even and I'm going to apply a bit more using a brush on this side and I'll be right back for my review so my thoughts and review on this foundation is I really like it because it's like it's 155 ringgit I know it is expensive but you can wear it not only on formal occasions so this is a foundation that you can use every day according to your preferences if you like full coverage makeup you can use every day as a full coverage makeup but for me I prefer like for everyday use I like a medium coverage so I use a beauty blender with this one if only I need one foundation in my life I would choose this one what I noticed about this foundation is like this foundation picks up other face products quite good because I use contouring powder blusher and highlighter I only need to use a bit and it only and it already stays on my face and it sticks throughout the day and it doesn't move it doesn't budge it doesn't fade so this foundation that really picks up the face product very much so that it looks very flawless very nice and it still looks good on camera and on videos that's what I like about this foundation and I have a combination skin type so this foundation it claims to be waterproof and oil free and it stays all day 
and it really helps a lot in suck up all my oil face oil so that I, I will not really look like an oil slick throughout the day but a quick side note this foundation even though it says waterproof and makes your face look matte it doesn't mean that you don't need to powder or blot your face during the day I always blot my face like during if I wear it in the morning then I will blot my face uh, in the afternoon and I will repowder my face but it does help in minimizing the oil on your face so overall for this foundation is I really like it it is Rin Mina Lips approved because what's not to like the packaging is good the packaging is very sleek it's very nice it will look very nice on your vanity table and it has a pump which is I very concerned about in every foundation bottle it has a pump and what I like about it is you can see whether you are running out of foundation or not because the pump will go upwards and now I've noticed that I am still good I can use it a few more months left give it a try it's only 155 ringgit you you will feel a bit burdened to buy this but it's so worth it if you are a beauty junkie like me to be honest I like this more than the Makeup For Avail Ultra HD foundation because that foundation somehow it makes my face look more oily and more sweaty but even though that foundation looks nice on camera but I prefer this one because in real life this one looks much more nicer than the Makeup Ultra HD foundation so if you have worn this foundation let me know what you think about this foundation in the comment box below and I do hope that you like this foundation as much as I do like it so that's it for today's guys thank you so much for watching do follow me on my Twitter, my Instagram and my Snapchat to see all my beauty related videos, stories and whatever and if you haven't subscribed to me already do subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos videos and click on the little bell button somewhere here so that you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos so that till then and I see you my next time bye assalamualaikum